folk history of America is the history of its heroes. Big working men like John Henry, Paul Bunyan, and Big Bad John. But today I'd like to introduce a new folk hero. He didn't work in a mine or on a railroad or any of those strenuous occupations. He worked in a beauty salon, and his name was Bruce. Well, every day at the salon, you can see him arrive. He stood six foot six, weighed 105. He's kind of narrow in the shoulders, narrow in the hips, with a curl in his hair and a smile on his lips. Big Bruce. Big bad Bruce. No one seems to know where Bruce came from. He kind of swished into town stayed all alone, never said much, kind of quiet and shy, and when he spoke at all, it was just to say hi, Big Bruce. Big Bad Bruce. Some say he came from New Orleans, where he had a social group called the Cajun Queens. Some say Hollywood or Beverly Hills, where he got arrested for passing $3 bills. That's Bruce. Then came the day of that terrible fire. Something went wrong in the number five dryer. Into the chaos of those matronly dames went. Big Bad Bruce, I just a fan in the flames. Big Bruce. Big Bad Bruce, hey, Woosey. Well, the flames grew higher and the fire got worse. And someone heard Brucey cry, Mercy, I forgot my purse. Into the fire with a squeal and a shout. We waited an hour, but he never came out. Poor Bruce. That salon once stood is a grocery store, but his name will live forevermore in the annals of time and in the hall of fame as a gay young cat who went down in flames. Big Bruce. You might say this has been kind of a fairy tale. 